There is a new Machine Tool Position dialog, which has replaced the Machine Information dialog in previous versions of Parallel. The new dialog features a significantly redesigned user interface that improves the presentation of the Machine Tool Position data and enables you to job a machine tool more easily. This is especially useful when used with the new Dynamic Machine Control toolbar as it gives you a much more comprehensive method of controlling the machine tool through a tool pass. The new dialog can be accessed through the Machine Tool toolbar or if you are using the Dynamic Machine Control toolbar you can access it through here as well. Once the form opens, you can see a great improvement on how the machine tool can be controlled. Each axis is labelled on the left hand side and is given a designation of whether it is a linear or a rotational movement. There is now a movable slider which can be controlled by moving your mouse back and forth. Alternatively, you can also use the scroll wheel of the mouse and as in previous versions, you can use the left and right arrows of the keyboard to control the movement. There is now a field in which you can randomly enter the position that you desire. The minimum and maximum values as found in the MTD file are displayed on either end of the slider. If you enter a position which exceeds the limits of the machine tool, a warning loop will be displayed like so. If the range of the slider is not large enough to jog the axis to its minimum or maximum in one go, you can simply drag the thumb to the end of the slider and parallel will then display the remaining range up to the limit. As you simulate the toolpath, or manually move the machine tool with the dynamic machine control, the dialog will interactively display the movements through each axis. You can reset the attained positions using this button here. You can also send the machine to its home position and then you can also display the collisions dialog here. As you can see it is the same interface as in previous versions but now it appears as a separate dialog.